guys, today I wanted to share with you my collection of little golden books that are Disney themed. I know this collection isn't going to necessarily appeal to all of you, it's not to everyone's taste, but these books are something that mean a lot to me. They are something I will never part with and I was just recently looking through them and I just wanted to share. So half of this collection were actually my mum's from when she was a little girl. So these ones are from the 50s and 60s and the other half were mine when I was little so these are from the 80s and 90s. I have a bunch more little golden books that aren't Disney but I particularly love my Disney collection so I thought that's what we would go with today. I really love the artwork in some of these. I think some of these are absolutely stunning. They're not always the best quality. Sometimes the stories aren't amazingly written. Some of them are really good, but it's hit and miss. But aesthetically, I just, I really love these and they were definitely a big part of my childhood. So for starters, for my mum's collection, we have Pinocchio and it's just beautifully vintage. I love the illustrations in this one. Next up, we have Donald Duck's toy sailboat. And as you can see, this one features Chip and Dale as well, who I love. Next up, we have The Ugly Duckling. And this is actually based on one of the shorts, the Silly Symphony shorts, which in turn is obviously based on the Hans Christian Hansen story. This is a super sweet little adaptation and one that I really enjoy. Next up, we have Walt Disney's Jiminy Cricket Firefighter. Definitely a unique title. And this one, of course, being Jiminy Cricket is definitely a moral of the story type book and this one features Donald Duck and Huey Dewey and Louie. Super adorable. Next we have Scamp's Adventures who is the son of the Lady and the Tramp and this one features Jock and Trusty from Lady and the Tramp who I love and I just think the illustrations in this are so cute. Next we have Sleeping Beauty which was another favourite. There's a few in here that are actually of Disney live action films as well. Um, there are some with photographs, but this one is actually a illustrated version of the live action film Old Yeller. A few more Donald Duck ones in here, Donald Duck's Adventure and Donald Duck Prize Driver, another one featuring Huey, Dewey and Louie. We have Tonka, which is one of the ones that features photographs and Hiawatha, which is based on the little Hiawatha Silly Symphony as well. The Shaggy Dog. And the last of my mums is Peter Pan and Wendy. And this one, I actually, this was mum's copy. And then I also have one from when I was a kid. So this is the only double we have, but as you can tell, there's some differences there. Um, and I actually adore the illustrations in these. I think they are absolutely beautiful. And I even considered maybe framing a couple of pages but I just can't bring myself to destroy either copy so if I wanted to do that I think I'd have to buy a whole separate one. And now on to the rest of the ones from the 80s and 90s. We have Detective Mickey Mouse. As you can tell obviously this is much more modern. I remember really liking this one. Another one I really loved when I was little was Minnie's Slumber Party. I don't know if anyone else recognizes this character. Um, she this is Penny. She was a friend of Minnie and Daisy's in the 80s. I don't think she lasted very long, but I actually had a few things with Penny. I actually kind of like her. Next, we have this very destroyed copy of Bambi, which I actually am not sure if this was maybe owned by someone else and then given to us because this one's actually the copyright in the front is from 1980 and I definitely wasn't born yet and mum was an adult so this was definitely not hers either so I'm not sure where this one came from but it, clearly it's been well loved. One of my favourites is Donald Duck and the Witch Next Door and the witch is actually Madame Mim from The Sword and the Stone and I love Madame Mim so this one is excellent. Super adorable. This one was a firm favorite. Next up we have a DuckTales themed book. This is The Secret Under the City. And I loved DuckTales as a kid. I still love DuckTales. Definitely love me some Scrooge McDuck. Then we have Winnie the Pooh meets a Gopher. This one is super cute and is actually based on one of the A.A. Milne stories as opposed to just being based on the characters and an original story. It's based on one of the actual stories in Winnie the Pooh. Another Donald, we have Donald Duck, Some Ducks Have All the Luck, and Mickey Mouse's Picnic. And another one based on a Silly Symphony. I love the Silly Symphonies. This is The Three Little Pigs. Any of the Silly Symphonies that feature The Three Little Pigs or The Big Red Wolf, I love. There's not that many of them. There's only a few, but they are 
excellent. We have Mickey's Christmas Carol, obviously based on Dickens, and there was the animated version of this in... I don't know exactly when that came out. I think it came out in the 80s. It might have been the 90s though, but I definitely grew up watching it. Another Winnie the Pooh with Winnie the Pooh and the Honey Patch. Very cute. And this was definitely one of my favourites. Mickey Mouse, Those Were the Days. And this one actually features some of the older characters that I adore. So we have Clarabelle Cow and Horace Horse, and they are just excellent. Look how adorably 80s Minnie's outfit is. I can't. It's so cute. Love this. And the last one I have here is Mickey Mouse, The Kitten Sitters. And I don't know if you can tell, but the kitten in this story is Figaro from Pinocchio. And I love Figaro. So this is very cute as well. But that is it. Those are all of my little golden books that feature Disney characters. I love them. I think they are so cute. That little collection I don't look at very often, but when I do, it just makes me happy. I think they are gorgeous and they will always have a special place in my heart. So please do let me know if you grew up reading golden books, Disney or otherwise. I definitely had a lot of favorites that were not in the Disney section of my collection. I know those Everything I learned about blank I learned from a little golden book books are kind of a thing. And for me, it's pretty accurate because I know I learned a lot from my little golden books. So that's it, guys. Just a fun little video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoyed seeing mine and my mum's books. Thank you for watching and I will see you soon.